Good morning, thank you for joining today. Uh, it's a very special day because it is my birthday and I'm turning 28. Do I look 28? I, sometimes I get ID'd and I, it, it, it's here and there, it's not all the time. And it just, you kind of like, man, dude, I'm old enough. Like, why do you keep IDing me? But then you should also take it as a compliment because people consider you to be super young looking, which I've been grateful to not look so damn old just yet. So we'll get there eventually, right? Um, <laughs> today we're going to be uh, enjoying and reviewing the CAO, the Pilon. It's the Gigante size. Um, it's a 6x60 six ring gauge, and I've had the Robusto, which was a 5x52, um, of this same exact cigar. So this is bigger, I should be able to get more from it, so let's crack it open and see what we got. So like this, guys, we're gonna go ahead and break that seal open. Woo! I can smell it already. Look at that. Look at the size of that ring gauge right there. That is a 60 ring gauge right there, my friends. It's a 6 inch. Again, it's the CAO of the Pilon, made by Rick Rodriguez. So we'll go ahead and cut this open right now. Okay. So, when you basically V cut, you're going to try to get it real nice and Got that going. So let's torch, torch this up and get it going. Okay, so got it cut. <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's light this girl. Oh, pretty thick scar. I might actually die with this one. So I still have a pretty good amount of butane in there, it doesn't look like it, but I do, um, yeah. Look at that burn, my friends. Nice and charred. Might have to hit that bottom side right there a little bit more. But we'll go, man. Can't really see my flame that well today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Woo. So, if I had to say what a cigar smells like or what it tastes like, I would say this right here is spot on. It's probably the, like, what I would expect a cigar to smell like, and a good quality one at that. So, the, uh, the wrapper is from Habano, Ecuador, the binder is from Nicaragua, and the filler is from Nicaragua. So, I, I really, really do love Nicaraguan um, tobacco or tobacco from Nicaragua. Oh, that is swell. That is very, very swell. So, I'm detecting. Good amount of nuttiness, but not overbearing on the aftertaste. Spice going in, spice coming out. The spice kind of tends to linger right there on that tongue. And uh, a good amount of earthiness to the cigar. Again, it, this is very light, guys. Um, you know me. I'll let you know how it goes as I get further down the length of the cigar. So I'm going to pause the video here. And... 
I'll see where it goes after a couple minutes of smoking this. Just my little setup, guys. Got a check, you know, still got the CAO, the, the pylon. Just lit up, you know, let it burn for a sec. Got my V cut. It's just kind of like, you know, this is like a, a wooden black tray that I've had for a minute, and uh, it's just a TV dinner tray. You can take it off, and it works pretty well for what I've been using it for. And uh, I just use like that to hold my phone. You know, nothing too fancy, right? And then um, you guys see a lot of ash from the cigars. But I, I'm liking this new tin right here. And this is actually the tin from the uh, from the poker video that I uploaded with all the cigars on it. It's pretty cool. So I actually had to make a double V cut. Um, sorry, can I get that to focus? Here. Yeah, so I actually made a double V cut because it um, doesn't look the best, most accurate, and you know, like a nice little perfect X. But it was a pretty small, I mean, as you guys can see right there, uh, it was, this is a pretty big ring gauge size because it's 60 compared to the 52. And so I felt like I wasn't getting enough flavor. I wasn't getting enough smoke. I wasn't, I wasn't getting enough. I was, the draw was really difficult. And so I opened it up with a second slice of that V-cut, and uh, right away got a bigger abundance of flavor, uh, easier draw, and just a more more consistent smoke, and it, it's a better flavor now. So I'm still detecting quite a bit of earthiness to the cigar. Definitely on the intake and, and on the draw, there's a lot of earthiness. And then Mel is out. You start detecting spice and nuttiness, and then, then the spice just kind of lingers on your tongue. And the, the aroma smells like really good cigar, just really good tobacco burning. It's not a bad tobacco. It's it's a really pleasant. It's actually a real, real nice. Just you know, hey, that's a cigar. I know what a cigar smells like. Cigar. That's pretty much what it is. So you guys can already see I'm starting to burn evenly pretty through. A lot of lot of earthiness, nuttiness, and then spice lingers. That's what I'm getting right now. I also want to just take a minute to appreciate the uh you know, just the wrapper or just the packaging on this cigar. Um, you know, most cigars I've had, you know, like the Davidoff, you know, it's, you know, you look at it, you're like, well, it's a Davidoff, right? It doesn't have much more than just the logo and maybe the name of the cigar. This one right here, you know, has name of the company, the name of the cigar, it has the size, right? And, you know, the, the type of cigar it is, it has, you know, created by Rick Rodriguez. And then it, you know, it just tells you the wrapper, the binder, and the filler, which most cigars don't tell you. They might tell you, like, you know, when you, on, like, the plastic wrapper that you pull it out of the cellophane. But then you get, like, you know, the tobacco leaf logo here. And, you know, it doesn't seem that luxurious. But when you look at it and you look at the amount of time and patience it went into, you know, creating something like this so you can understand more about your cigar, that's something that I, like, I really, really like. You know, most cigars you get, they just have the name and handmade. That was it, right? It's like, well, I know it's handmade, but I would like to know, like, you know, the wrapper, the filler, the binder. That's, that's awesome, you know, because we all know tobacco from different places have different tastes. And this right here is a very good smoke so far, but I just, I just wanted to appreciate the amount of time and work that went into creating this craftsmanship right here of this, of this wrapper sleeve. Okay guys, so you're at about a quarter of the way. And uh, a quarter of the way is probably more about like right here, but we're getting there. So already detecting some flavor note changes. You know, there's still a good amount of earthiness on the draw. But immediately now there's a lot of nuttiness to the cigar. And there's 
not as much spice lingering anymore. There's still notes of spice, but a lot of nuttiness now, and it's just a really good tasting cigar. Um, I think the nutty, like just the nutty flavors, is something that I really like of cigars, and that was kind of like the the other one that I had by was it Arturo Fuente, the A Fuente, the Chatu series. Those are very nutty. I really really like those. I like this one a lot. Um, this definitely has already made it into my top five cigars that I've had to date, and this really just kind of, you know, it's just this is an awesome cigar. I really like it. Again, very earthy, very spicy, a little bit of nutty in the beginning. Uh, quarter waypoint, earthy, nutty, and some lingering spice. But um, it's my birthday. I'm 28. I, I can't believe it. You know, I've made it this far, and uh, it, it, it feels real good to celebrate another birthday. Today's a little bit more bittersweet because I don't, you know, like I, I've been, you know, I've just went back to work, so I don't have a whole lot of money to spend. Yesterday, I went to the a brewery out there down south, California, Salinas, to um, Alvarado Street Brewery, my favorite brewery, and went there with my sister, had some drinks, and had a good time just conversating, you know, getting, in, in, you know, getting her into it and saying, hey, you know, this is what you had, and the highlight of that night was we had the Mala Mania, which is a imperial kettle sour, and it's made with tangerine, marshmallow, milk, sugar, and vanilla, and it's just, it's an awesome, awesome beer, and it probably won't pair well with this, but if you can think of like an orange dreamsicle or like that, you know, party convection that they would make at parties where it was like oranges and marshmallow mixed together, like if you put that into a beer, that's essentially what it was. It was so good, so enjoyable. But right now, life is good, guys. I got my life on track. I'm, you know, I'm a little bit behind on bills, but part of part of being a human. Right? Especially living in California, everyone's got all the same things, so there's no judgment here. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a blessed birthday so far, and I got an awesome birthday at uh, BJ's uh, Bar and Brew House, I think, later today. And I, I can't wait for it. So the coffee that I'm drinking today, actually, this is pairing pretty damn well with my coffee. It's, it's bringing out notes and coffee that I've never... I just haven't tasted before in, in quite some time. I'm getting a lot of actually like toffee in, in that coffee, and it's 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 a great feeling. Again, guys, sorry for blowing you up. Today's gonna be a little extra long video than normal, just because it's my birthday. I'm happy celebrating, but uh, let's get let's see where it is at, at the halfway point. We'll see what it's like. So I guess if you can see, I'm officially at that quarter of the waypoint. Now, guys, I've been out here for about a little over half an hour. This is such a long smoke. This will probably be about an hour and a half at the least. I've been drawing on it and drawing on it, trying to get it, and I've just I've sat here for so long already. You know what, my video is already running about 13 minutes, so you gotta imagine I've been smoking this for 13 minutes on top of like an additional 20 minutes sitting of not recording, just simply enjoying it. So if you guys are looking for a long smoke that you can sit there and just like enjoy yourself and just you know just absorb the energy of the world and this is the smoke to go with because of that you know six by sixty ring gauge it's such a bigger cigar than the standard robusto and I'm more of a robusto guy because I like to smoke within 45 minutes and, and be done and usually my robustos can be between 30 and 40 minutes this right here it's taking forever and it's not bad you know it's my birthday i'm chilling i got nothing to do but again this is a very long smoke I admit, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> Look at the size of that ash. Yeah, that's hanging on strong. Um, I haven't tried tapping it yet, but I'm gonna see how far I can get it. But yeah, that was a 
<laughs> that was quite a draw. Attempt number two. So now it's starting to go back to a lot more earthiness. And it's it's basically all earthy now. Uh, slight nuttiness, not not a whole lot. You can detect it, it's not the, the amount of earthiness that's there from the draw to the finish is uh, it's quite quite a bit, but it's not a bad earthiness. Uh, when I compare it to the earthiness of that the, the Davidoff Grand Cru number three, um, that had an overbearing amount of oil and an overpowering amount of earthiness that was just not pleasant. This has a more mild, earthy tone to it, which is enjoyable. The cigar itself is probably one of the strongest cigars that I've... strongest cigar-smelling stenches that I've ever had. But it's, it's also pleasant, so it's just very strong in aroma. It, it's, it's not to the point where it's like, ew, it's nasty. Some people don't like to smell cigars. I don't mind it. That's why I do it outside. But, uh, you know, don't tell my wife that I, <laughs> that I smoked inside. Sorry, I probably look like a complete crackhead doing that, but people love it. Mm. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of tobacco high, which is nice. And it took about, we're close to the halfway point. It's still smoking pretty damn good. You guys can see that. I'm trying to tap it. Ash is not coming off. That is a strong, very good quality construction. I love that. And I'm just giving light taps, guys. I'm not actually like trying to like break it off. And most cigars that I've had, you know, you lightly tap it and the thing will come right off. And as you guys can see, there's nothing going on there. That's absolutely amazing. And the, the double V, Definitely, definitely helped um, with the experience and enjoyment of this cigar so far. Um, I felt like with that single V, it just wasn't big enough. Um, again, the Craftsman Bench V Cutter is a, it's a standard size. It's for most, you know, medium cigars. This is a Gigante size, so it's it's a little larger, but um, definitely very pleasant. I think I want to get a guillotine cutter for bigger cigars like this. I don't know. I haven't had a guillotine cut yet. I also want to try a punch cut, but I just feel like a punch cut might be too small to where um, may not get enough flavor, enough draw. But I'm getting a good amount of smoke from this, and it's, it's beautifully, beautifully constructed cigar. Look at that. <laughs> it straight up felt like that. I caught it on camera. You guys seen it. But that was live. I was not planning for that to happen, but damn. Did I just fall off? Woo. It's crazy. So we're going to um, start to remove this. It's still pretty on there, pretty tight. So I don't think it's burned all the way through just yet, but we're just going to take the soft in place. Try not to ruin the construction of the cigar. But yeah, um, there we go. Nothing special on the inside. The cigar that I had yesterday, um, when you open up the seal uh, for the the Queen Bee, the the, the, the Rosaro um, a Fuente Chatu, the torpedo that I had, um, when you opened it up on the inside of the seal on the back, it said handmade. And I was just like, that's cool. 
so if you've made it this far, uh, I appreciate it. I know most people's views tend to be about a minute long and this is already running to be about a, a 25 minute video. Um, thanks for joining me for today's special video. I appreciate it guys. We're about halfway now and um, I'm getting a lot of sweetness in the earthiness and a lot of spice. So it started off very earthy, a little bit nutty, a lot of spice, and then it just was earthy and nutty, then it became nutty for a second, and it, now it's all just earthy, and it's like a sweetness to it, um, <clears throat> almost like a syrup. It's really weird, like if you ever put syrup on your pancakes, that that molasses flavor that you get is kind of like kind of like that. It's not bad. It's just it's it's a very interesting cigar. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys can see. I think I might have a tobacco beetle. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Right there, you guys see that hole? Um, that's usually tobacco beetles or whatever. But I might be smoking some friends today, <laughs> little buddies. Alright guys, so I still have a good way to go before the cigar goes up, and my phone is running dry on battery. Um, so I'm going to end the video here, but I've really enjoyed this cigar, the uh, CAO, the Pilon, this is the Gigante size. I did have the Robusto, and honestly I could say that this is the better version of the two. It's just a very long smoke. The construction of the actual cigar itself is, is spectacular. Um, I can't state it enough that this is probably definitely now in my top two favorite cigars, if not my most favorite one. Uh, I definitely still like that uh, the Corojo um, wrapper from Aladino. That was an amazing cigar, an amazing smoke. This right here, just the, 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 the luxury that it was put into it. It, it's a very fine cigar and uh, I'm very sure I'll be picking up this exact one again at a later time but definitely really really good thank you for joining me today and uh, you know cheers to my birthday and cheers to anyone else happy having a happy birthday and may you guys have a blessed day you guys take care thanks for stopping